Find Your Balance Dog Training. Wanted to chat a little bit about walking the reactive or formerly reactive dog. Sully was human and dog reactive in the past. In training, we've been working very hard to correct the mental arousal, which is the root cause of reactive behavior. So it's an intensity in the brain that happens before it turns into the physical behaviors of barking, lunging, reactivity type stuff. So when I am taking a formerly reactive dog for a walk, guys, it's very important that we're always seeking out opportunities to continue correcting mental arousal in its earliest form. If we miss this, it starts to build. Gives the dog the opportunity to load. Gives the opportunity to create mental arousal once again, which will lead you right back to reactivity. So, one of the things that we always wanna leverage with these guys is our threshold exercises, which is any valuable threshold, the crate door, car door, house door. These are really important moments where we can do a lot of great correcting and really make a meaningful impact in the dog's mindset. So before we even get the dog out of his crate to get him dressed or leave the house, we should have corrected all forms of mental arousal so that by the time we actually leave the house, we have a calm dog who in his brain is a zero out of 10 of mental arousal. If we are missing these moments, guys, they start to accumulate and add up. So if we miss the opportunity to extinguish mental arousal at the crate door, the dog in his brain climbs to a two or a three out of 10 mental arousal. We miss the opportunity as we get him dressed, he climbs up to like a four out of 10. We miss the opportunity once again at the house door, now we're at a six or seven out of 10. And then the moment an old former trigger walks by, boom, rather than your dog being at a, a zero out of 10, making it very easy to give a light reminder to ignore it, your dog is now at a seven out of 10 mental arousal and he just launches back into his reactivity because you've allowed him to accumulate, stack, build, load mental arousal in all these areas leading up to it. This is so important and I can't say it enough that we always have to be on the lookout for this stuff, guys, with our formerly reactive dogs and constantly be extinguishing it so that we can repattern them to be calm. It's not just a one and done type of thing. It has to become part of your lifestyle and part of your routine.